Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ablon Polka Dots. My name is Kerr, and on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So, if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. Today, I am actually filming in the evening. <laughs> I went through my whole entire day and I was like, ah, I need to film a video. So, I actually am going to try something new. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I have not worn this yet. It's still sealed in the box. The way they seal it is they take this little piece of, uh, I guess, tape that has the number of the shade and then they wrap it all the way around. So no, this is not open yet. And also that's brilliant because then you'll know if somebody else opened it. So as you can see, mine is in the shade 11. I used the shade finder on the site to try and see if this would be my right shade. And this is what it said to use. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, we are going to, let's see, this is the bottle. I'm sure you guys have seen this 10 million times now on YouTube. <laughs> now it's 10 million and one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to actually prime my face. I just started using this primer last video. This one is from Revlon and it is called the Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup and Skincare Primer. You guys really need to think about just shorter names just or abbreviations or something. This is extensive. <laughs> so this is what we're going to use to prime the face. I know. Um, I liked it yesterday, so we'll see if we like it today with the yummy skin. I'm treating this yummy skin tint like I would any other foundation or skin tint or tinted moisturizer, BB cream, CC cream, anything like that. I'm going to begin with the primer. It is very rare that I don't slap a primer on my face. This one is very gel-like. It has a very gel consistency. So in case you're wondering, and it's supposed to, it's my understanding, this is supposed to be a dupe for the, um, what is that company? Hourglass for the Mineral Veil, which is why I bought it. Oh, I still have lipstick on you guys. I'm so busted. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be a dupe for that. It doesn't feel like it to me. It feels very different. It does not feel like a dupe at all. But, um, you know, if that's what they say, that's what they say. So I slapped this primer on all over. It's a little bit sticky feeling. And on top of it, it has a very chemical smell, like a very manufactured smell. There's no scent to it, but you can tell the smell is strictly that of the ingredients. So there's no fragrance or anything added. If that kind of like plasticky sort of metallic smell bothers you, then you might want to think twice about grabbing this primer. That being said, when I used it yesterday, it performed very well. It does feel sticky. So it's kind of like that hydro grip primer. Um, just keep that in mind. So we are going to go into our under eyes with the Milani under eye brightener. This is the conceal and perfect in number four nectar. And I use this all the time at this point. It is not the only color corrector that I own, but this is the one I seem to just be using. So we're just going to roll with it. And we're using this to cover up the gray underneath our eyes. It's completely natural. It's um, hereditary but it doesn't mean that I want to show it off to everybody. I just squeezed this tube a little tiny bit and all this came out oh, already, already going overboard. I really love this product, but look at how messy. <laughs> Even if you give it just a really gentle squeeze, a ton of it comes out. So if anybody has uh, the hookup over at Milani, could you let them know that they may want to reconsider their packaging? I know I'm so opinionated, but I can't be the only one that's noticed it. We're just pressing that in, just working it in. Yes, I went a smidge overboard, but this is fine. Do I still have glue on my lash from the other day? I sure do. It's fine because we're about to slap some more lashes on anyway. But do you guys have trouble getting the glue off of your lashes? If you don't have trouble getting glue off of your lashes, would you kindly sound off in the comments and let me know what you use? I double cleanse. So I use a 
some kind of oil based or creamy based cleanser and then a second cleanser that's what I use <laughs> all right we're gonna give this a try I'm wondering like what should I use to apply this I normally use a sponge do I need to is this like a brush do I need a brush for this let's see like a foundation brush I've watched people all over the map all over the YouTube I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand oh what is this am I supposed to shake this first oh man am I asking for trouble by doing this in a white shirt I bet I am and I'm gonna keep going because I'm hard-headed let's shake this up a little bit did you see that I hope you saw that let's try it again yeah see oh my gosh first of all it's incredibly runny I wasn't ready for it you guys I wasn't ready for it I was not ready for it okay all right it's runny can you see that just and then we're gonna use our brush and I'm just kind of just gonna do I treat this the way that I normally would a skin tint help me out here you guys am I doing this right Ooh. Is that a good color match? She's distracted by the color match. Excellent. Our plan is working. Bwah ha 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 Say the people at Danessa, Danessa Myricks. I don't know if they say that. We're just making it up. Please don't get mad at me, Danessa Myricks. Okay, so first of all, these tinted serums have a really nice, cool finish feels very cool on my skin it's comfortable it's soothing it almost feels like have you ever gone to get a facial you know when you go to the spa and they're putting all the stuff on you and you're just laying there like ah this is bliss and then it's just like really nice that's what it feels like okay I did the brush but you know how I do I'm, a, I'm going in with the sponge I feel like the sponge is the right thing to do. The brush was the right thing to do too. We, we still love the brush, but I just feel like the sponge is the closer. It's gonna come in, it's gonna make an assessment by looking around, and it's gonna tell everybody what needs to be done so that we can all go home. I don't know if the sponge really talks like that, but I imagine it would. I imagine the sponge would be like a boss, like a foreman or a boss lady, just out there letting everybody know what's up, you know. Got a shipment coming in, guys. Got to spread this uh, skin tint. Got to do it right. Client's really expecting a lot from us. See what happens to me at night, you guys? I get delirious. Just coming up with stories about skin tints. Coming up with stories about a sponge being a boss. It's a sponge an animate ob object I mean but if you want stories like that Pixar Disney you know who to call I'll write you a story I definitely am a writer okay this feels good on my skin it feels moisturizing it feels comfortable it feels very malleable very pliable my skin does not feel like it's um tight it just feels like a moisturizer and on top of that this shade match <laughs> girl <laughs> are you seeing this shade match wow these shade matching algorithm tool things that they put on these websites i am impressed i had another one earlier and you guys will see this in a future video for this lancome foundation and they matched me with 540 w and while i was in the store i opened the box to see and i was like there is no way this is my color i was like this is really light and the lady was like let's just go ahead and put a little on and just see if it works and if it does that's great and if not you can return it and i was like thank you so she grabbed the sample that was on the floor put a little bit on a sponge put it on my face this is an exact match not close not nearby, not adjacent, exact. Those algorithms, y'all, they know. 
Is this going to be, is this going to be the balancing, right? Are we finally going to start getting the shades that we're really looking for? <sighs> Let's move on. We have the Lancome Tainty Little Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is in the shade 470. We're going to pop this right underneath the eyes like we normally do. I can say for certain, and I know you can see this on camera, that this yummy skin is glossy. I look like a dewy dumpling. Quite glossy. And I can also say that my concealer is gliding over it. So that's new. This concealer pretty much works the same with everything I put on my skin, except for this product. So this is new to me, this experience of having something different go on. So we're going to see what the deal is. Let's grab our sponge again, our trusty sponge. It's called the Bossin. And we're going to go ahead and spread this concealer the way that we normally do. We're not treating this skin tint any differently from the others, okay? It's equal opportunity at this job site. Okay, feels good. It blended out. I was a little bit worried about the, what is that? I was a little bit worried about that because it felt very silicone-y for a minute, but this is okay. We'll see. We're going to see what it looks like when I lay the powder down. That's going to be the true test. Because I'll tell you what, that powder tells no lies. Powder's out there telling on everybody. Powder can't hold water on its tongue. It's like a bad refrigerator. Everything goes out. Okay, I like it. It does feel good. All joking aside, wow. Yummy skin for the win. I wasn't even going to buy this, you guys. I really wasn't. Because one thing's for sure and two things are for certain. I don't necessarily always want to get on the bandwagon when something new comes out. I'm not trying to be that girl that's like, I have the new best thing. I have the new best thing. It's like, no, buy it because you wanted to use it, because you were going to wear it, because you're going to enjoy it. Don't just buy it because, you know, Shonda, Keisha, Mary, Margaret, and Shakoya are buying it. Buy it because you enjoy it. It's a pro tip. Okay, we're going to set this powder. We're going to set this powder. We're going to set this face with the powder from Ruby Kisses. This is a set and forget. The 16-hour one. The one that is always having this casket ready. But we'll hold on to anything. I mean, this powder grips on to your foundation or skin tint like I don't even know what grips what holds on to things you guys explain it to me tell me in the comments things that grip things that hold on holds on like a toddler like the strength of a two-year-old it's not letting your makeup go anywhere tell you what and guess what it goes very well with this uh yummy skin Oh, we're doing it. I'm about to wear this tomorrow. You guys are about to see this a lot. Y'all are going to be sick of me. Okay. I like it. I like the finish. I like the color. I'm glad that it plays well with others, meaning the powder I just laid down, as well as the concealer I put down, and the color corrector. It does play well. Yeah. And the color matches beautiful i can't get wow you guys these algorithm alg algorithms are it's a little bit scary <laughs> the algorithm's like oh i know what color you need don't you worry about it darling and i'm like <laughs> did anybody hear that okay all right so i wash my brushes so if i were going to wear this look out and i wanted to just test this product and not necessarily draw attention to anything else I might still throw a little bit of blush on do I look washed out should I do like the whole nine you guys I don't know I don't think I need to do the whole nine I think the whole point of a skin tint is that you kind of look natural right like kind of natural as she goes to open her bronzer from Chanel <laughs> yeah you're tripping this is a beige Creme Belle, Mean, and Soleli. I think I pronounced it right. Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. It's 395 Soleil Tan Deep from Chanel. 
this is the cover this is the product we're interested in the product I'm gonna try something else hold on because I haven't tried this yet either we're trying things in this video you guys we're trying all kinds of things we're doing things that are different and you know that my family is loud by the way I know you can hear them in the background they are just they're loud it's just how it goes so we're just gonna dab this on into all the areas that you normally would for your bronzer. Putting that there. Oh, why do I always do that, you guys? Every time. Oh, because my cheekbone is there. I guess the brush just follows the cheekbone, doesn't it? Silly. Let's put a little here. We have our three. See, like this? The shape of a three? Say it with me. Shape of a three. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Bueno. So what we're going to do now is put the lid back onto this. This stuff is awesome, by the way. If you guys are into Chanel or you want to get into Chanel or you're looking for a nice bronzer, this stuff is really good. I like it. It's easy. It blends well. It's not too red. I think you can see that it's not too red. It's a nice chocolate color with a hint, a hint of toastiness. It's like a little bit of canela, a little cinnamon, not a lot. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to do that from now on. No wonder the girlies do it with the brush first and then they go ahead and blend it out. Where have I been? Obviously not in class. Ooh. I feel so professional, like I should be on a TV show or something, like interviewing people. <sighs> we, <laughs> don't get mad, we bought some more blush today. They're both from Ulta. The lady in Ulta convinced me. She's very convincing. So I picked up not one, but two blushes. And one of them is a cream and the other is a powder. So I'm hoping that I don't already own this powder one. I don't think I do. But if I do, now I own it twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, my next empties video, or not empties, but my next declutter really, really needs to be my blush and bronzer drawer because, sis, it is out of hand. It is way out of hand. When I open the drawer, it's so heavy, I have to be careful because I'm worried about it like breaking. There's so much crap in there. So, you know, your girl over here struggling needs to quit buying all that damn blush so this one is the cream and it is called wine mixer and this is the one that she told me about and it really is pretty I have not been too into cream products in terms of blush but I'm trying to get into it I'm trying to feel it I'm trying to make it a thing I'm just grabbing this brush right here it's dense I hope it works well with this cream we're just going to pick up a little bit on the brush and we're going to just dab it here. The way she blended it in to her skin was beautiful. If you're watching, you know who you are. You did a great job. You got me to buy it. So, ooh, it's got a nice sheen to it. I know. Don't go heavy handed, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I know you guys. I know. But can you help it though? Look how pretty. No wonder. So I asked her, I said, do you set yours with the powder? She's like, not always. And I can see why she's saying that. Although it is very dewy, it blends in so beautifully. Let's put a little more. Famous last words. Let's put a little more. Come on. Just a little more. Next thing you know, you're clowning it up at work. And the people you work with are too nice to say anything. <laughs> oh, that's real, you guys. Okay. Do you like this color? Because I like this color. Thank you, Miss Ma'am. If you were watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate the recommendation. You were spot on. Okay, so now we have another blush here, as mentioned. Also from Ulta. This one is the Pink with Envy. I have this, um, <laughs> I already broke it, you guys. Literally, I already broke the container. 
I broke the little tab that keeps it shut. That's fine. It'll be fine. So I have another version of this, whatever the other color is that I have. What happened to my girlfriend? Is it just one of those days? Here we go. I have whatever the other shade is. I also really like it in this style of blush from Ulta. So we're just going to dip our brush in here. I'm sure it's fine. Yikes. And we're just going to go over the top of the other blush. And we're using this like a setting powder. And it's working beautifully. Wow. Oh, this is a fun blush day. It is a fun blush day. Got it all up and through there. Try not to go below my cheekbone. Right there. That's the line. Draw on the line at the cheekbone. What do you think? It's very glowy. <laughs> I like this. I might wear this to work tomorrow. Might. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. If I do, you'll know because you'll see it again in another video and you're going to be like, didn't she just, didn't she just wear that? Okay, let's put this here. So what else? Would, well, I'm going to do, a. I think I should do a liner. My eyes look kind of plain. Don't you think it's kind of plain? Yeah, they look kind of plain. We're going to do Demolition from Urban Decay. Wow, what a surprise. No one is surprised. If you have been following my channel, I know you're not surprised. You probably rolled your eyes as soon as I said it. But there she goes again. With that Urban Decay demolition, like nobody knew it was coming. Same old song, like a broken record. And we're just lining the lashes. And let's go into the waterline. This stuff is waterproof. So I use it to line my waterline as well. I also need to sharpen this one because we are really getting down to the nubbins on this okay that is sufficient for today because it's evening and I'm not going anywhere and I'm going to be taking this makeup off shortly after filming this video anyways I'm going in to my brows with the MAC spiked brow pencil. I'm not actually filling these in, but I am combing them up in anticipation of the setting spray that I'm going to be spraying on my face. And I want my brows to be in order before I spray my face because otherwise they will dry out of order. Have something on me. I'm just giving it one last look because I'm wondering if I need to go over it with a little bit of powder. This is the Black Radiant Soft Focus Setting Powder. It's a finishing powder, excuse me. It's in Golden Almond. I'm going to just do it just a touch, just a little tiny, just a scotch, not a lot, just a little a nibble, a slight brush, a passing of two ships through the night. just to kind of tie everyone in together, make sure that the choir is on the same page. We got our altos and sopranos, y'all ready? That kind of thing. All right, well, now, now I feel comfortable spraying my face. Let's set some of this stuff down. You know I like to keep my stuff in order. I don't like stuff all over the joint. If you can't find it later, then you're just like, what happened to it? And if you put it back where it belongs, you'll know where it was. I hope that came out right. This is the cherry scented setting spray from Milani. They don't make this anymore, but if you do happen to come across it, you probably will at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and it's very, very cherry scented. So if a strong synthetic cherry scent 
is going to bother you. This is not the setting spray for you, honey. Pick a new one. Okay, let's do some lashes because the face is quite plain and we want to do something fun. We're here to have a good time. I have the NYX 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. So what I normally do is I will go in with this first and I will use this to line my lash line as close as I can so that after I put on my lashes it has kind of a secondary option for adherence. Same on this side. Okay. Just going back in on this side for a little more coverage. I see a couple of sparse places. Same with this one. I try to be really careful with this because it is a glue. It's a liner and a glue, but it's still a glue, and I don't necessarily want glue in my eye. I mean, love this stuff. If you guys are looking for something like this, buy this version, the NYX version. I think I have another one in there from another company, but that's the one that I like. Um, let's see. So we have these lashes that I got from Amazon. They are out of control. They are so fluffy and humongous and big and <laughs> ridiculous looking. And I like them. And I like that kind of drama in my makeup. That's the only place I like drama, by the way, is in my makeup. I don't like drama anywhere else, period. So we are going to pop these on. I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to just lift them off. Let me show you what I'm doing so you can at least see. I'm going to take them and I'm just lifting them off of the plastic using my tweezers. And then I'm going to take them and I'm going to try and like curl them a little bit. Can you see that? We're just making it so that it's going to at least be somewhat the shape of my eye when I lay it down. So it's easier for me to put on. You'll see in a second. For my lash glue, I have the Active Duo, this one. I do like this lash glue. It's almost gone. I have 10 million other lash glues go though, so it's fine. Lash glue just doesn't last that long, you guys. It really doesn't. Especially if you wear lashes relatively frequently, you're just gonna, you're gonna fly through it. Come on, come on, you gotta have a little bit more. I don't feel like stopping to open a new one. There we go. Okay, so that's lash number one. And typically when I'm doing my lashes, I have one lash that likes to be polite around company, hold doors open, just be generally pleasant. And I have another lash that is a complete hellion that I have to pay the babysitter twice as much for because they're such a pain in the ass to watch. So we'll see which lash this is. So we're going to pop this on right in the center is what we're going for. We're going to try and center it first. And then we go to the inner corner with the outer corner. 
You don't want to do it down. You want to do it ever so slightly up. And you're doing that because you don't want the lash pointing down in your eye. You want it coming up on that outer corner. So you can have that kind of like sultry look. You know what I mean? I think you can see it. And I'm just folding this up a little bit. And we'll come back in with some mascara in a second. That's it. That's how you pop a lash on, you guys. Lashes are not difficult. What's difficult is just like the placement. Like this one should be a little further in. But I just can't seem to bring myself to do that with lashes, you guys. I've tried. And I'm just kind of settling for whatever it is I can do. Second best is good enough. So we're going to grab the other lash. And I'm assuming because the first lash was so delightful and pleasant and easy to apply that the second lash is going to be the Hellion. Let's find out. Just popping some more of that glue on there. I didn't show you guys how I do this, but I just take the glue and I run it along the band. I make sure that when I'm applying it, <laughs> this is hard to angle, when I'm applying it, there is a thicker amount of glue on the outer corners. So the two corners that are closest to the ends of my eye have the most glue. I don't put a ton of glue. Let's just clarify because the more glue you put, it's going to be a pain in the butt to try and put the lashes on. The goal is just to coat the band and then to make sure that there's enough glue at the end of the band that your lashes don't lift up throughout the day. All right, so for this one, not sure if you can see, but I put too much glue right here. If you can see that. Uh, probably not, but it's fine because again, we're not going anywhere. And then we're just looking for the center of the eye. And that's where we're going to press this band. And then we'll press down the rest. This is one of those situations where you will have to go back in with a little bit of liner over the top of the band to correct a little bit of crazy that you may have created, like I did. We're just folding this up a little. Then we're coming back to this side. I don't know why I decided to put that much glue on there. Honestly, I really don't. I never put that much on there. But I did this time. Probably because I'm like, <laughs> just drop those. Probably because I'm like talking at the same time. Normally, when you're doing your makeup, you're not actually talking to someone. You're just doing your makeup. But when you're on YouTube, and you're trying to explain to the peoples what you're up to. That's what that looks like. Also, lastly, I don't recommend doing this with a tweezer because it is dangerous. If you do not have a steady hand, you could really hurt yourself. So they do have these tools that you can use to apply your lashes carefully. They're like a little plastic sort of nubby tool 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 <laughs> I, can, I can speak but in this case i'm like whatever it's fine all right so these are the super ultra dramatic lashes we're going back in with that glue and we're going to draw right here because although we're not going anywhere we still would like it to look the way that it would look otherwise
There we go. A little bit more, maybe, to match this side. I kind of like that drama. Kind of like it. It's a little bit thicker. Mm, not too much, though. Just, just enough. Just, just enough. Okay, our mascara is Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost. And we're going to take this, and we're going to put a little bit on. I really like this mascara and I really like this wand. I'm taking it and I'm just rolling it. I'm not pulling it through. Just, it's a roll. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to lift my lashes off. Just in case the glue isn't dry yet. And that's it. Let's pick a lip. I mean, technically I have a lip, but obviously it's like worn out. No one is surprised. I don't even want to hear any crap from you guys. This is Fenty's Fussy. We're just throwing it on. That's all we're doing. We're not going anywhere. But we still want to look cute even if we're at home. Mm. Love this stuff. I wonder if she's going to come out with more of these, like more colors. I think that would be nice. Sticking our tongue out. So that we don't get lipstick, or in this case, gloss on our teeth. This is what it looks like. I can tell you guys, I am loving it. I like the way that this finishes. It's so skin-like. It's so dewy. It's beautiful. And the... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to describe this. It feels like skincare is what it feels like. Really, it does. Um, but it's very... I feel very glowy. I look like I'm moisturized, like I drink my water mind my business and lay my edges. I like it. I do. This is, I get it now. I understand the hype. I drank the Kool-Aid. I'm on board. If you guys don't have this, you should add it to your wish list and pick it up one day soon. Yeah, I get it. This is gonna, this is gonna stay in heavy rotation. I hope you guys are uh, ready for it because you're about to be seeing this a lot, a lot. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.